Hi, it's Jen, and I'm here today with my March TBR. So one of the first books that I want to read this month is The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson. This is the third book in the Mistborn trilogy, and last month I read the second book, The Well of Ascension, so I'm excited to finish up the trilogy and see what happens with all the characters and how everything is resolved. It's going to be very exciting, and I can't wait to get started. Also this month I want to read Tower of Thorns by Juliette Marillier. This is the second book in her Blackthorn and Grimm series. So it is about a healer woman named Blackthorn who has a very mysterious past that we don't know very much about, but she lives in the woods with Grimm who she broke out of prison with. <laughs> and she's a healer and she's indebted to the person who broke her out of prison. And so she has to use her healing skills to sort of help anyone who asks for her help or else she'll be cursed. So I really enjoyed the first book in this series. I can't wait to read this one. I love the cover. And I don't really know yet what it's about. So I don't really know yet what task um, Blackthorn and Grimm will be dealing with in this novel, but I'm very excited. Uh, the first one was sort of a slower read, but I really enjoyed that. I felt that um, the world was very well built, and I'm excited to see where Juliette Marillier takes this. This month I also want to read some of the new releases that I got last month. So first up, I have Ways to Disappear by Idra Novi. Um, I just got this book in the mail last week. I'm very excited about it. Um, it's more of a thriller mystery, and it's about a Brazilian author who disappears, and her American translator who travels down to South America to find her and figure out what happened. And I love reading books about writers and books and writing, so this is right up my alley, and I love the cover as well, so I'm very excited to get started. Another recent release that I want to read this month is The Portable Veblen by Elizabeth Mackenzie. This book I'm very excited about. Um, the two main characters um, sound very quirky and fun. Uh, Veblen is a translator, is a Norwegian translator, and believes she can talk to squirrels and all sorts of weird funky things, and it takes place in Silicon Valley, of all places. This one should be a fun read. I'm very excited. Also, the cover is great. <laughs> the last of the physical books I want to try to get to this month is um, Madame Bovary by Gustave Flaubert. Yeah, that sounds right. I took French in high school. Uh, so this novel was originally in French, and it's the book that I want to read this month for my goal of reading a different classic novel every month. And this book seems just right up my alley. Um, the main character, Madame Bovary, is like the original Desperate Housewife, and I love reading novels like that. Uh, I've read a lot of more contemporary novels about like marriage and women who are unhappy in marriages for some reason, so this seems like a great one for me to read this month. I also just got a couple of ebooks from my library. So the first one that I got is The Aeronauts Windlass by Jim Butcher. It is the first book in the Cinder Spire series. So it's a sort of steampunky epic fantasy and the main character is a ship captain and his ship flies in space. And one of my favorite most underrated Disney movies of all time is Treasure Planet where the ships fly in space like spaceships. So I'm very excited to read that if for nothing else than flying ships. Also this month, I want to read the second two books in the Grisha trilogy by Lee Bardugo. So those books are Ruin and Rising and Siege and Storm. Or the other way around. So Siege and Storm is the second book and Ruin and Rising is the third book. I read the first book in February and I liked it. I'm excited to see how the series continues and finishes. I also really want to read Six of Crows and I would feel bad if I didn't finish this trilogy first. The final book I want to read this month is Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. The main character in this book is a girl who has the power to tell if people are telling the truth or telling lies, and it's the first book in a new young adult fantasy series, so I'm excited to check it out. All right, that's all I have for this month. If you want to be more up to date with what I'm reading at all times, be my friend on Goodreads. I love Goodreads, friends. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see what I think of these books at the end of the month. All right, goodbye!